Hi, play therapists. We know so well how much self-care is such an important part of our experience. I really want to reframe self-care for us, though. I really believe that self-care is not something that just happens at the beginning of the day or at the end of the day or something that we need to wait until the weekend or take a vacation to experience. I mean, Yes, those times are important. Yes, it's it's important to take time to do things that we love and to take care of ourselves and to give ourselves some rest. Yes, and I'm talking about something a little bit deeper. I'm actually talking about an ongoing relationship with ourselves, which is what I really believe true self-care is about. It's about a moment-to-moment attunement that we have with ourselves where we're checking in. We're recognizing our own internal activation. We're recognizing and we're listening to the feedback of our body. And we're listening to the signs and the symptoms that our body is giving us to let us know how well we are being in relationship with ourself. It's those little moments where we recognize tension and we go, oh, I need to take a breath. Oh, I need to maybe take a quick little walk or I need to sit quietly here and just be mindful of my experience or I need to name my experience out loud or I need to get a sip of water or I need to just stretch or I need to make that phone call to set that boundary and say, look, this is what I'm actually needing relationally. Those are moments of self-care and we don't tend to think about those moments when we talk about self-care. So often when we talk about self-care, we talk about, oh, I need to, you know, uh, go to the spa or I need to have an hour to go to yoga or exercise or I need to spend some time journaling or I need to. And like I said, yes, super, super important. But there's this moment to moment self-care piece that we don't talk about enough. And in my opinion, it's actually the most important part of the whole self-care process. Because the reality is, is that the other things, sometimes they're not enough. They're not enough. Particularly when we have jobs or when we are in relational experiences where we're constantly saying hello to other people's nervous systems and we're helping support them through their own dysregulation. That requires a certain level of dysregulation in our own system in order to attune and to be be helpful to someone else which means that our system is often or going into a collapse response often. And so if we're not aware of how important those moment to moment attunements are and those moment to moment check-ins and, and questions around, gosh, what do I need right now? And how am I doing right now? Those moment to moment pieces around self-care, the reality is, is these other things that we tend to think about, they're just, they're just not going to be enough. So as you think about self-care, as you think about how uh, you take care of yourself, I want you to, to think more along the lines of what's the quality of the relationship that you have with yourself throughout your day? What do you need to do to heighten your level of connection with yourself throughout the day? What do you need to do to have more moments of mindful awareness about what's going on inside of you, because those are the ones, those are the ones that are really, really, really going to shift and change our internal states. Those are the ones that are really going to make us available to ourselves and available to others in the ways that that are required for us to do the type of work that, that we are doing. So hopefully, there's something in this conversation that's that you can take and can can start to shift your thinking a little bit more around um, self care. So, in a, addition to the vacations you're planning, or the downtime on the weekend, or the exercise, or the you know treating yourself to a great bubble bath, or having a great meal, or whatever it is, um, how can you also incorporate that in? Because at the end of the day, your relationship with yourself is the most important practice of self care that you can offer yourself and then ultimately others um, as you are being of service to them.